Hello guys, it's Unders, and today we're having a look at Isotope's new plugin RX7, and I want to show you guys how you can use it to manipulate full tracks to do things like take the vocals out or take the drums out. Um, it's a pretty revolutionary tool. It's not perfect, but it's absolutely something you can make use of to do your own like bootlegs and remixes or just as like research if you've got a really sparse track that you want to pull some particular sounds out of and really understand how they were created this is an awesome way to do it so let's get into that <laughs> Okay, so here we are in RX7, and I'm going to show you this feature that allows us to uh, pull vocals, or to be honest, like the bass or percussion, um, out of a finished track. Now, I've pushed this pretty hard. I've given this a, a hard track to do, and it's still done pretty well. Um, I've had to play around with some of the settings, but you know, we can <laughs> we can get a surprising result out of this. So. Just a heads up, this is loud. This is just a little snip of a whole track. I just wanted it to be a short section so I could um, render it quite quickly and show you how to do it. And then we'll just do the quick uh, A-B settings and we'll have a look at some of the things we can change. This is for the old school team, team. Me and my boys, we were living a dream, dream. Riding around in that old school fiesta. Oh, that shit was cool, it was messed up. Sweet. So in there, we've obviously got that main vocal, which is split left and right. We've got a subline, a bass line, that um, ring modulated lead going on, kick, snare, hi-hat, shakers, the whole lot going on. Now, if we just click here, we've got this music rebalance. We can see a drastically different file, um, and this is what's pulled out. This is for the old school team, team. Me and my boys, we were living the dream, dream. Riding around in that old school fiesta. Oh, that shit was cool, it was messed up. Now, while not perfect, we can tweak it and rebalance it and use uh, some different elements to get it sounding more on point. So on here, we've got our four different elements. We've got voice, bass, percussion, and other. And I've cranked the sensitivity up to 10 on most of these. I found actually if we dial the vocal back a little bit and potentially the bass down to like three as well. And if we just hit compare, it will give us another run with those settings. Right, we can just select that and we'll see that the audio looks fairly different we can play that back this is for the old school team, team. me and my boys we were living the dream dream riding around in that old school fiesta now still why not perfect you've got to consider just the difficulty that this is having to pull apart this track i mean without the acapella it's just nearly impossible to get something like that so Let's just have a listen to what the default settings would be if we just pulled everything down to zero apart from the voice. We can hit compare and get another run of that as well. And this is what like, the, the default settings would be like without changing any of those sensitivities. This is for the old school team, team. Me and my boys, we were living the dream, dream. Riding around in that old school. Like I said before, I found it a bit better if you leave some of the bass in because you could just high pass it and take that out anyway. Um, but consider you know, the original here. Remember, this is loud. This is for the old school team, team. Me and my boys, we were living the dream, dream. Riding around in that old school fiesta. Oh, that shit was cool, it was messed up. Push your fox, hush puppies on a Saturday. If I broke your heart, girl, don't be mad at me. Yeah, that's pretty crazy to be able to pull something like that off. So what we do to access it is there is a feature here called Music Rebalance. If we choose that, we get these sliders. Now, by default, everything's going to be set as so. And obviously, we can have voice and we can bring the others down and just leave the voice in. But just for argument's sake let's see if we can just recover the drums this time so when we hit compare it gives us a short run so it's not the fully processed version when we hit render it takes a little bit longer but it gives us a real idea of the ballpark we're in of course let's check it out and see if it managed to grab the drums it looks like it right Yep, 
by me no means not perfect, but uh, the groove's definitely there if you wanted to latch onto that and get that out. Or we could, again, keep tweaking our sensitivities till we get the best version we could. And one thing to note, really thinks it's quite important to use the uh, advanced joint channel. So the joint channel just really looks at the um, left and right and then channel independent just works on them independently the advanced joint gives the best result for these types of features so um, that's how you can pull an acapella out of an even finished track using rx7